Stop yawning, I scared. She just one shots everything. If she hits it. As she should. Your handed weapons are good. You will too, you'll like one shot anything that's not wearing armor. As far as they're blocking. Your own research has yielded new arcane formulae. Choose up to two you should study. And it has two options. Yeah. Well, it's fairly fundamental stuff. I'm guessing the stuff further up has more. Healing aura, 673. Yeah, you're, you're not at full stem. You must not be. Oh no, I need... Oh no... The cost is 90 what? and I have 90. You don't have your novice hood? Oh, you disenchanted it. Yep. Uh, that's why I keep my... kept my stuff. Well, hindsight's a bitch. What you get? Fortify magic is not really a... Um... A rare one. Actually, I've seen an amulet for like a thousand gold that was like 40. I just need to go beat up a mage. It shouldn't be too bad, right? Yeah. A mage might not have a hood, though. They usually only have the robes. Yeah, that's true. Give fortified magic yeah. You could always just go to Winterhold and get their, like, free stuff. Because they give you a free novice hood. I'd have to then get into the college, which would probably require, like, god knows how much money. Buy the spell from what's your face, and that's then I might not so be able to cast that. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think that's expensive. Probably I can't have increased the cost of a spell. They've increased the cost of everything, except for some things which they've decreased. No, not everything. Breeze Helm is several thousand cheaper. <laughs> Turns out in your game it's like ten times. It's like fifty thousand. My game was just bugged or something. Yep. Or because I bought it before uh, becoming a Thane, it was actually cheaper. Something silly like that, yeah. I've arrived at the cave. Moment of truth. See if this like anti-life drain thing actually works. If it doesn't, well, then I can't ever do this, basically. Joy's Damages Magicka somehow, maybe. Yeah, I just need to be able to get those poisons though. Actually, like, hitting him like damages a... Magicka, but it doesn't, does it? To, uh, I don't know, actually. Because I've never actually got oh, close enough. Because he right? actually... The problem is he also one-hits me with melee attacks. With his one-handed sword. I don't know what kind of sword it is, but... He didn't one hit me, but I did a uh, sliver of health we got his damage. <laughs> or sliver of his health and damage when I hit him. That means that you pierce his health care. fortification. Oh, he can't, he can't drain my life. I'm invincible! Oh god, I can't attack. What's going on? No! Okay, I can, I can do this, but I have to do it carefully. Very carefully. He's dead! Quickly, Uthgur! Protect me! The skeleton! Oh my god. You distract him, I'll go up behind him and kill them. Yes! I think that's it. I think I did it. Intense. Okay, now let me check my actual diseases. 
just in case. Alright, we're good. I didn't get the disease. I didn't get the vampire aids. An iron sword, he did that much damage. That is unbelievable. I wonder what they did to like increase its damage that. that much. Be a spooky scary vampire? Oh no. There's more. Whatever There's more. Hmm. Blades. Not over Uthgar. Pretty much any That's Until never over. Time. Until you're dead. Not too late. It's never too late. So do I have to finish the first, like, training with Tolftir, or do I just get the robes when I get inside and talk to Mirabelle? No, you just get the robes after... All you have to do is follow Mirabelle around. Actually, no, you don't have to follow her. She just gives them to you before the tour. I may go do that. But then I have to, like, get back from Winterhold. That is true, and there's no carriage. I think the carriage appears there every now and then, though. I seem to remember there being a carriage there when I was like. There might last be a there. boat, but I don't think there is. Not for there. I I seem to remember there being a carriage, not a boat. Maybe Requiem adds a carriage there. No, I mean in vanilla when I oh, was playing vanilla. No. You yeah, know, there's there's no carriages there ever. You're crazy. That's crazy. You're crazy. So I That's totally wasted ancient Nord stuff. a point on that spell. That Which spell? Point on, like, Restoration? Spells, it'll become yeah. in, no, it'll come in useful eventually. It's a really good spell. Considering there's no health regen by default. Perfect hideout for bandits close or enough. worse. That bandit is wearing like fucking steel plate. I'm let's let's do this. Off. Let's do this. Now ain't this a surprise? That's good. Get my back. Or the front, one of the two. No. That's your best, huh? I cannot best you. Okay, how am I gonna do that? I'll let you live this time. Oh god, she let she accepted my oh, right, my surrender. Oh no, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't. I've got crossbows at dawn. Let's kill these vampires with our silver bolts. I hope this works. Forgot about like the open coffin. You won't live to see tomorrow. <laughs> Old Steve's Expert blocking block. did nothing. No, I had to block. <laughs> what are you blocking with? A shield? An iron shield. Oh, that should be fine. Going Captain Maybe America. You, perks in it. you probably don't have any perks in it yet, do you? I have a perk. I have a perk. My perks went straight into martial arts, heavy armor, and... Was it a two-handed weapon? Blocking. There's no, it's an iron... Oh uh, my iron god, are you kidding? Or worse. It's a fucking steel plate wearing... <laughs> vampire. <laughs> How am I supposed to kill this? This is just not fair. Alright, that's good. I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss. Got her. Steel Suck armor. fireball scroll. Steel plate helmet and orcish boots. I can't even hurt him with magic. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with it? I have Old any poison or anything. Out. But that's good needs to get over here to carry his stuff. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Let's go. He can't be killed. There's no way. Steel plate from the first bandits the old Steve encountered. This vampire is... Why? Like how? 
How do I do this? Help me off here. Maybe if and I just Steve, unfortunately now has to strut everywhere he goes, or else he just becomes horribly over encumbered or over <laughs> ex just exhausted. And Uthgird has trapped me in with a van. <laughs> I can't even cheese this. Like I don't even know how to do this. I'm gonna need to like. Let's come back at level no, thirty. I don't, I don't no think big deal. Awesome. I think I can, I don't know, like, I'm gonna need... So get yourself, like, an ebony greatsword, and just, like, one-shot the fucker. I think maybe... I can't, he's wearing steel plate. Then an ebony like warhammer, steel plate. and then one-shot the fucker. <laughs> I need a warhammer, but, like, I don't think I can. Ah, oh, it's... I have to go all the way to town again. It's not cool. Chest in here has an expert lock on it. I can't even open it. Feel that one vampire. might have to increase now... his magicka with the next level so that he can have like some magicka to cast his spell. Just use like a a potion, fortify magicka potion. Nah. Nah, he's gonna wanna have the base ability to cast the spell. And the spells never get cheaper, do they? Uh, they do. They do? Yes. Alright then, maybe you'll have to just, you know, get one of those fortified magic robes. How much does your, like, aura cast, or cost? 90. Mine's at 78 right now. And I have, uh, I have heavy armor on. Oh, no, that's back up to 180 now. That's, huh? I take my armor off for a second. <laughs> 83. Oh, I shouldn't have got pit I only have heavy one armor perk in restoration. Why don't you want your heavy armor? Oh, no, I'm wearing a piece of orcish and, like, two pieces of steel plate. No, I can't, like, run without becoming, losing any stamina rather quickly. Uh -huh. The relative weight of the armor makes, like, determines how fast your stamina gets drained. Famous stew. But my armor rating is so much better now. Famous stew. No more stops. We need to find our way to Solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far-flung end of the Empire, anyway? I killed one bandit, now I'm gonna go back to town to sell stuff. <laughs> I'll have to check Balathor and see if he has any, like, goodies for sale that give me magical regen, or fortification, rather. I've seen a few in the shops, so... Then maybe I'll attempt a journey on foot to Winterhold. It's probably better to take a wagon there than have to only have to go one way. But... True. I'm sure you can run back from Winterhold to, to Whiterun, it's just you won't be able to kill things necessarily along the way. You have to just avoid them or run away from them. If you even can. Well, old Steve is pretty fast. Uthgard will slow him, will slow him down for you. Yeah, you have increased speed. Move speed. So 
sort of. Just from being Khajiit. They got a 15% speed bonus. That's so what it said on the yeah. thingy. Slowed down quite a bit by my armor right now, though. That's true. You can always just take it off. You don't necessarily just need to run use through it the wilds, like, make all it the time as you're running. Wild. You do run that out a lot faster train. without armor. Yeah, but it's just to get back to white run. If you have no choice. I suppose. Because a saber cap might spot you. You have to like run for your life. And he doesn't sure want your money. I'm pretty sure myself can take him down. Yeah, if it attacks her first, sure. And, it, and only if it doesn't ragdoll her, ragdoll her, like, across the, like, map. Alright, I haven't seen a mod that works for multiplayer for Skyrim. I have not seen one that, like, works well. It just doesn't exist. You know, it's a, it's a good, yeah, Link and look at it sometime. But usually they're like, oh well, it's looking very promising, and soon, well, soon, TM, we will have actors like that will be synced, so that you'll actually have the same people in the same place in the same world. It's always soon. And then they end up like, instead of adding actual functionality, they'll just like go for a chat UI or something that like no one cares about. Give a holler, and man. then eventually it just dies because they oh, don't actually make progress. That's yeah. how it's gone on like the one for Oblivion, probably the ones for Fallout, the other one for Skyrim, the other one for Skyrim. What was it called? Like Goliath or something? I don't remember. Do come back. I really hope there's the Warhammer for sale in White Front. I'll probably have to buy two, actually. Got some one for me, one for Uthgird. Protect yourself, or deal some damage. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Let's go. I don't claim to be... Take a look. I'll take my leave then. I guess I'll just hope that I have the money and the skill to get into the college. Watching not even give me robes because of Requiem. <laughs> Every like merchant there has a novice hood or so, or, like three for sale. But you should be able to get them anyways. Where do you Depending on how cheap they are. I don't do charity. No gold, no ride. Whoops! Forgot to take my money from Uthgard. Oh, vampires here, I need to poison. I can't use that. Oh, that sucks. You stopped. What is it? 
while they're very resistant. 100% resistant to poison. Oh, so they're, they're technically not resistant. immune, but... Lead on, then. If I can, like, reduce their poison resist first, then maybe, but no. Okay, DJ, where do you want to go? I have an idea. I'll, res I'll lower their poison resist by using a poison. <laughs> yep. Send me a link. Or post a link, I guess, to it. You'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink. You've been right. seen in the company of the companions. That's an honorable path you're on, friend. Then what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. Here and check out Berna's audience. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind. I do what's ne- Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oops, I don't have All steel right, plate. Then. I have steel. I have steel, steel plate helmet, and orcish boots. Still pretty good armor bunch I got here. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if in the process my presence helps to deter those who seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Old Steve just wants to see huh. what it's like Soon on the inside. In short supply here. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Excellent. The fear spell has saved the life of many an illusion mage. If you could cast it on the seal here on the ground, that would prove your skill. I look forward to it. Much knowledge lies with... No? Well, if you think you're capable of... Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. So am I. <laughs> Fundamental. 22, that's not looking good. Yep, nope, this college thing is not happening. What happened when that give you? Fundamental sphere spell. 172 magicka. Do you think, uh, like, base? Do you think you can, like, did you say before doing it? Maybe you can, like, re-roll it? I'm not re-rolling it. Even, is that way? I probably could re-roll it to like, get a different spell, but, like, there's no way that she's gonna give me a restoration spell to cast on it, so I can't cast anything on that. Because this is gonna be, like, a fireball, and since I don't have fundamental destruction, it'll just be, like, fucking 500 magicka or some stupid shit. Well, it's usually novice or apprentice level spell. It's never like something too ridiculous. Fun. Well, you know, it's fundamental. Fundamental's the basics. It was novice, fundamental. yeah. And, like, it's just that, like, without the perk to train in it, you're not gonna be able to do it, and that's all there really is to it. 
Now I'm gonna get my ass kicked by whatever the fuck comes around this corner. Or is waiting for me around this corner. Can't drop. I'll take a look at that in a little while. I can't drop the amulet of Talos. What's going on? It's a quest item. What? Yep. It's never been like yeah. that. It's always been that like that. Maybe you've Not done the quest and finished game. it, but like I've always had that problem where if I pick up an amulet of Talos, any amulet of Talos, because there's more than one, it's a quest item. You can't drop it. Maybe because I'm wearing it in my other game. That's probably why. Never tra even tried, most likely. Yeah. Oh fuck, Ice Wraith. That's good, can we do this? Oh no, god, I don't know actually. The answer is probably not. The answer is definitely not. Can't see it. Oh, let's get down. I'm out. Peace. No, you leave me alone, Ice Wraith. Oh god. The kit doesn't do much damage with the actual attacks. The magic, magic hurts. Not to me. I yeah, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, am I gonna have to go back to Solitude to get another blessing? I am. Aren't I? Game crashed. The game crashed? I died and it tried to reload and just crashed. Yeah. Waiting doesn't lower the cooldown or lower the duration or whatever of of the shrine. This is good news. Unless it just takes a while. Hi everybody, well update. In which case I probably just lost it. No, I'm still there. Yeah, I've seen this guy before, he's good. Um Let's just take a look at the video content. Um Laundry Tamriel Online. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, that's I've seen this mod before. It's I think right now the most they have synced is like other players syncing with each other. Let's take a look at um, the mod. Warhammer. So we can all start serious work on the NPC synchronization. Until then, I'll continue to do the fix. Remaining bugs that have been reported. I wonder if like a a, a lunar weapon will kill a vampire. Wait for nighttime and like. Or do I have to be outside? Do I have to be upside for that? Actually. Don't even know. Here's a list of what hammers. currently works. Character position, rotation, changing cells, fast travel, armor, weapons, magic, height, width, what am I doing? Whipping, I have steel. I can make my own. Basic customization, stats, name, walking, running, jumping, sneaking, basic combat synchronization. This mod is officially up on the Nexus. You'll start working on synchronizing the world state and the NPCs. So... You can kind of probably do combat with each other, but 
Yeah, I don't know. It's not an estate that's really playable beyond the... Um, what we call it? Although it is 18 days old, so we'll see if it actually gets to that point where it, the world stays synchronized. I have eight steel ingots. Dude, I have 19 stealing kits. physics related crash darn it out of the way sigma will this load fucking hell Yeah, there's something horribly wrong with my game. Should probably do a clean install. Welcome. Let me know if... But that would mean I have to reinstall everything between the two versions. Alright, let's see if that Ice Wraith shows up and kills me again. There's the goat. The proficiency exam? Yep. Oh, ice wolves. Because I think that's an ice wolf, at least. At least they aren't dick wolves. At least they're not dick wolves. It does look pretty fucking big though. It's not much scarier than normal wolf, thankfully. I really don't know what, if any difference, this Warhammer is gonna what be. What you need to take? Let's go. I have yet to see another dragon. You actually killed the first one? 
Well, I didn't. The guard is equipped with, like, ebony arrows of lightning ridiculousness. 60 damage lightning exploding arrow thing. They, they managed it. to pull it down. There was, they, they added a lot of guards to that quest, and then, like, gave them ridiculous weapons. So what you're saying is, oh god, it's no bear. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh god, snow. Snow bear. John Snow. Earthgirt's down. You know but nothing, bear's down. John snow but bear. bear's, bear's running away in fear. It's okay, Earthgirt, let him go. He's like one notch away from being dead, but like, if we chase him, he's gonna be leading us on a run all day. I like how NPCs don't regenerate health either. Like this bear's Except fucking trolls. running. Holy shit, trolls. Yeah, well, trolls have always been, like, a regenerating thing. They're not very tough. They don't have a lot of HP, but they are trolls. They heal very quickly. There we go, bear's down. Now we get to loot all the stuff, and Ethica can just be over and come with bear bits. Probably leave the raw meat. You probably only get like 20 gold or so from the raw meat. What do you need to take? Let's go. Yeah, we killed it pretty handily. My, my blocking worked wonderfully on the bear. Yeah. Shields are great. I just. I would like to hit things and kill them. Or I, I slap them to death. It works pretty well. It was a meteorite elk. Rare, rare breed. I wonder if it died. I'm gonna see if there's a body over there. Meteorite elk? Yeah, he just descended from the heavens. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like at like the low distance when an animal loads in, sometimes they like they get the altitude yeah. wrong. Yeah. So they just fall. It didn't seem to die from the fall. Whoa, whoa! It's coming right for us out there and kill it. How did I miss that? It's a spry elf. Like it ran straight at me. I used to warhammer attacks. Be Oh, son of a bitch, one-handed is not at all modified by when you punch things. What? That sucks. Your one-handed skill does Can't not- Can't level your one-handed by punching. Oh. Nope. That's what you get. So I'm not gonna be leveling my one-handed at all, I guess. There's a cave here. Perfect Do you really need to? What in there will actually benefit you? Well, if I, I don't know if like the martial arts thing scales with it or not. Probably don't not. I don't think so. What was the whole point of getting that perk? Just, what does it even do? Increase your arm damage. By just the value, and then like, it's always that? I'm not actually sure. Vigilant is Let's find out. Let's find out. Martial art. Effect 1. For every 40 HP you currently have, you will deal one more un unarmed damage. Once you reach over 280 HP, you gain 2 unarmed damage for every 40 HP. Once you reach 840 HP, you gain 3 unarmed damage for every 40 HP. Once you have so 920 basically, if I don't level up my HP, this is completely pointless. Exactly. It says, note, unarmed isn't good on its own, but it's useful if you get disarmed. It'd be good if you're a werewolf. Apparently. Because werewolves? Wow. Wow. So transformed werewolves have like... Have like a thousand HP added to them. Yeah, I, I noticed that a little bit there. So... <laughs> so you get a lot of unarmed damage from that perk. As a werewolf. Mm. 18 plus... Wow. It's ridiculous. Plus your base HP. It's 9 damage for every 40 HP after 920. 
Oh, it has a total, so you can just add it up. So it's what? 101 plus 35. That's like... No, it's 91, but... 126. So you get like 135 damage extra from that perk. As a werewolf. Okay, Othgard and I are gonna do something stupid. We're gonna go attack a skeleton and two mages. Oh god! <laughs> mages are pro <laughs> Skeletons aren't that tough. Mage the magic is. Oh my god, I got hit by like two ice spikes and then like just yeah. lightning bolt and instantly killed. They saw us coming. It was a bad idea. Uthgar, let's get out of here. We're going. In, we're going another way. It's a very bad way to go. The werewolves might get a thousand health, but there's no armor to protect. Probably. That's probably part of why they. Um... Oh God, wolves. <laughs> Back here, you fucker. You can't hit me like twice and then run away. I will destroy you. Well, if I want to have that extra bonus, I'm gonna have to work for it. What bonus? The werewolf hell. Because I have to deal with the. The vampires. What is going on over there? Oh my the god, there's You have to do attacked, all the but... quests. Or not all the quests, but a certain amount of quests to get into, like, the thing. I haven't done, like, the rest of the companion's initiation yet. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. Let's let Uthgar chase, chase the wolf because... I'm just draining all my stamina. The saber cat posse is like trying to kill this mammoth. It didn't go well for the saber cats. They're they're in oh my goodness. They're in orbit. No. What is it doing? I'm sorry, Mr. Mammoth. Don't attack me. I just want the saber cat pelt. Mammoth is charging, like, in random direction. This goat had four legs. What the hell? It's almost like things make sense. Why are there two enemies now? Uthgird, why are you fighting a bear? Uthgird, no! No, it's good. I will destroy you. This is a bad idea, Uthgard. Sometimes she just does what she wants. Quite good, are you? You think I'm afraid of you? Uthgard, we gotta loot this bear. Leave the wolf. It's not a threat. Uth Uthgard? God damn it, Uthgard. I love the bears just like ragdolling down, down the hill. No, it's, it's good. But like, Uthgard's just gone. Once, once she acquires a target, her lust for blood apparently just cannot be satiated. Target acquired. Initiating pursuit mode. When things give up and flee, they really give up and flee. This bear is now doing a dance down the hill. The dance macabre. Alright, Mr. Vampire. Let's see how you fare against these Warhammers. 
Can't imagine how it fare any worse, but... Okay, the wolf no longer seems to exist. Now, where the hell is Uthgird? Either it ran us so far away it no longer exists, or Uthgird killed it. I'm not gonna bother go looting it. Get over here. I'm still here. What do you need to take? How much can you carry, Uthgird? At least 50 pounds. She can carry Probably a lot of like shit. Her armor doesn't count towards her about like weight and carrying things. Which really geez. helps. Because I have to wear like 80 pounds worth of armor. I guess we're not getting up over this hill. Oh, there's the wolf. Okay, so Uthgard came back the very next day. I did no damage to him. Oh, because he has just a lot of HP, right? I'm paralyzed. He paralyzed me somehow. <laughs> uh, How am I yeah. supposed to kill this guy? This is just impossible. So they made, they de-leveled everything so that, like, you know... Every, but they still kept just unfortunate that random. So you had to like go to like, the fucking like, level 50 or something area randomly. God knows what level they expect to be for that. I think it's just a, I think it's just an armored vampire. Cause I'm pretty sure the enemies are still relatively random. Like, it's not all hand play. What is that monstrosity over there? Oh, skeletons. Uthgard? Uthgard, we got a skeleton. You're gonna try the whole crossbow method, Uthgard? Down for that. It's not gonna work, but I'll try it. Come over here, vampire. Guess it's like a skeleton Didn't work out over there. That's um glowing with an aura. What is this? The Vigilant of Stendar. Oh god, they killed the Vigilant of Stendar. Got an good. axe of my... An axe of kill you in three hits. It's the enchant on it. That's a pretty intense enchant. Ah! No there we go. Oh wow, Uthgard nearly got butchered by this mage, but we managed to kill it. Laid down this horrific looking ice field. Now I get to loot this Vigilant of Stendar. Steel plate gauntlets. Cool. Oh my god, Vigilance Curious. Nice. His sword, his crossbow, a bunch of silver bolts. A note on the physicalities of werewolves. An amulet. Well, let's, well, that's good. We're dropping all that food for like this random steel crap. Oh, I was doing so well in this cave. I thought for sure I'd be able to clear it out, but around the corner was a much, much stronger vampire. Go off good. Do you... Apparently, I'm in combat. So oh, she's I dead. Not no, I'm paralyzed. My armor. I'm dead. <laughs> Great. Let's go take this stuff. We'll sort it out later. I'm still here. What do you need to take? All right, screw it. We're going home. It's not working. It's four hammers were a terrible idea. Let's go. Let's get going. That's good. I need to take that armor from you later what on. What do you need to take? Don't get too used to it.
the hands of Stendar's finest. This weapon can wreak havoc among the undead. Whoa. Holy crap. Lead on then. Mammoth going now. Mammoth is ballistic. Oh, some Stormcloak soldiers. It's randomly on the fucking water so, side here. Why do you join the Stormcloaks? I don't want some snuffy elf telling me what gods I can or can't watch. Where's Uthgird? She tried looking up. Maybe she found a giant. Yeah, the weapons in this mod do a lot of damage. I've lost Ruth Gerd. She's gone. She'll be back someday. Oh, I'm finally near Windhelm. That place is a carriage. I made for Ruth Gerd at the inn. Surely she'll find her way to me, right? Oh, there she is! Trucking it long. Oh god, workers. I did not mean to go too close to them. I wonder how scary a horker actually is. Could make some horker horker looks, I know. You could probably avoid most of their attacks. Then again, you do run out of stamina and you will just be super slow at some point. Well, for now, I'm just going to go to Windhelm. Now wait for Uthgard to somehow find a way to path to me. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? This water should be killing me. Tempted to get off that mod for hypothermia with Requiem. But like that's no, asking for no. trouble. Yeah, it's all kinds of crashes and stuff. Requiem's been pretty stable so far. Well, I mean, the crashes really, it's just the like, difficulty. How much more do you really need? It's not even really necessarily difficulty, it's just be like, well, I don't want to go to the northern half of Skyrim because it's all frozen all the time. So you just never go there? Yeah. I spent the entirety of my gameplay here just like in the plains around Whiterun. Yeah. I took a wagon to Markarth in Solitude briefly, and I always took the wagon back. So sad that the companion's quest was 
was a vampire one. In some ways, that's probably a good thing, though. I mean, from what I'm reading about the the werewolf thing, it, it's like it's quite it's quite a large increase in strength just from having like just from having it. You know, we have to like transform. Oh wow. Probably better it's gated behind some ridiculous vampire that I'll have to be high level to kill. Otherwise, the rest of like the progression will just be too easy. Hey, Oscar managed to teleport to me. Because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? Changing cell phones. Yeah. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Last time I lost her like that, she was in a staring match with a troll on the opposite side of a river. They were just, like, sitting there. There's nothing I could do. So I just ran to Whiterun. And just went inside and she was there. Oh, old Steve doesn't hate Dark You've come elves. to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice, a narrow... Oh, um, here's trouble. ...unworthy of one such as you. Nothing hmm. new there. Most of the we tried um, installing Path of, Path of, Path of Exile. We tried installing Path of Exile. Colors of Eternity. Yeah, it, it, it worked. It just took a while. Yeah, that's what I was noticing. It took Philip like an age. He went away, like yeah. went downstairs and watched like a show, and he came back. It was still going. It's just so long. It took me at least 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and then each patch took probably 10-15 minutes. It's probably just like just repacking and repacking and stuff. Just horribly. Yeah. They're not usually that bad, but it's a huge game. Yeah. I, I, I did um, Stalker recently, which was a GOG install, and that took a long time as well. Not, not this long, but it did take a while. Yeah. But it's, that's an older game though, right? That's not as big. Just, oh, it's for a game. Yeah, long. That's not bad. So I'm near fire. Or just the way they pack it or some compression. Come on in. This is an old That's what I'm guessing. So I killed that vampire. The storm cloaks. That the companions wanted me to kill. We drink to well, no, sorry. I killed a vampire. That was in front of the vampire I wanted to kill. Turns out the one that they want me to kill is like wearing full steel plate and has like a paralysis weapon and like it's just ridiculous. Uh, it looks like I'm never going to be a companion. What do you need to take? Lead on then. All hail to Ulfric! You are the High King! Yeah, Slender's right about that. Well, why would you want to be a space hooker? We're the children of Skyrim and we buy space hook. our lives. What? And when Southern Guard beckons, everyone on the Firefly, that's what the space hookers were called. Companions. I guess that kind of makes sense. This land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean. I Our prefer the term escort. Hopes and our dreams. <laughs> I prefer the term prostitute. All hail to Ulfric. This here Just straight up. Let's say that <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush here. Unless you want that, but that costs extra. That costs extra, yeah. Especially for nettles. Enjoy your stay, and don't God. break nothing. This one's a favorite. Got some fresh baked bread and sure thing. Time to melt down these steel warhammers I just made. Right this way. So it's like it's... making them, then melting them down, then making them again. No, I, I made them to use them. But like they don't do anything, so I'm just gonna melt them down now and go back to using the sword. Is there no longer that perk where they just ignore armor? Cause they no, they have a 75% damage. Like just by default, passively, they have 75% armor pierce in this like mod pack thing. But the problem is Damn. the vampire I built them for is like a vampire and is ridiculous. So he took his health bar didn't move when I hit him with power attacks. So, oh. I'm not gonna be able to kill him right now. I'll wait until I have like Daedric or something. Here. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll go get right on that. That's actually not hard. Is... No, not in default. In vanilla Skyrim, maybe it's not hard. It's probably like gated behind like three dragons and a fucking giant massive mud crab or mammoth army. I don't know. 
Just judging by like how this mod is going. Yeah, it's just in a Nothing cave, said. but I think was full of bandits by default. I don't know, this could be anything at this point. No. I lied, it's Falmer, so who Stop. knows. That? Oh, that's like top Maybe tier. Falmer or Terra. That's horrible. Take. There, yeah. Still the best weapon. What do you need to take? Not as bad as vampires. Let's go. Still pretty bad though. Salt so Steve's now decked out in some vigilant curus, which is nice. Yeah, no, Weighs even more, so you can't do anything. Cool. It's like steel plate with like a rope over it. Everyone, take a look. Restore, oh, cool. Fortifies foot restoration. How is Uthcare? How did you get a full suit of steel plate for Uthcare? What the heck? What? You got a full. Why do you have like a full armor set of steel plate for Uthcare? Is that what I just saw? Pop up she, there? She has um, steel plate by default, right? Yeah, but like I can't see it on. Her. She has like a default. No, oh, no, she's not wearing like. Do you have like a little... No, 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 no. She doesn't have like. No, I'm. I just have some pieces of steel plate because I found some off. The first banner I had had like a steel plate helmet that was well made, and then like the vigilant Stendar had like gauntlets and the chest piece. What the heck? So lucky. I'm still wearing steel, just like random stuff, and that's after like wearing iron for a long time. I guess I could buy it, but I don't want to waste my money like that. I need a horse. Like, like priority one. Let's get going. Come see me. What do you need to take? Alright, oh, see you, Slender. Have a good one. Enjoy your shower. I should probably just start alchemying so I can get some money. I'm gonna let Earthguard hold on to my um, vigilant crossbow and the silver bolts. She's probably just gonna waste them on something stupid. Not too bad with it, actually. It is a little bit annoying when you want her to like tank something and she's running away with a crossbow. So sometimes you have to like pull it away from her so she won't just like go her own way. For the most part, though, she's not too bad. It's made better by like how good they are, just by default. Beef stew is letting me carry so much stuff. When it runs out, I'm gonna be very sad. Beef stew? What? Yeah, I found some beef stew on a bandit, so I ate it, and now I have like 7200 seconds of 50 health fortification. Oh my god. Carry weight increased. Health increased. What? Health increases carry weight. Oh my god, weight, you can make right? some of that. You can buy all this stuff from the stalls, like in front of. Uh, oh my in front god. Of what you my dude it? from vanilla. Could move a castle then. Werewolves get werewolves get a thousand HP just for being werewolves. Oh god, my what? The best. Okay, honey, just take that whole mammoth corpse back home. <laughs> Actually, you mammoths do have for the rest a lot of, of stuff on them. They probably have hundreds of pounds worth of stuff. I don't know. Oh, probably like like fifty pounds. Cause I yeah, I found a dead goat Four earlier, more. and it had four legs of goat on it. Yeah, you can actually take like all of the bit. Saber saber cats have both eyes, like the teeth, the claws, and the pelt and the meat. Like you could just like take everything. Right. Now what's the recipe for beef stew? I need some of that. I also get a 75 stamina magicka, straight up. It's raw beef, carrot, salt, and garlic. I have carrot. I have. Well, I don't have carrots. It's the only thing I don't have out of that. I can buy the beef and the carrots. Carlotta just impaled herself with a broom. Oh, 
Oh, he's actually so reading this can, book. So if I can find some Wolfsbane and some Belladonna. I thought you had gone AFK. I'll back. No, no, no. Have you ever I'm just, lost sorry, I'm just, just reading. Need some? Hoping the book would tell me how to like, yeah, kill werewolves easily. Oh no, it doesn't. I don't think it actually has anything to do with in game stuff. It's just flavor. Well, Beastiary of Skyrim is supposed to be helpful. That when you buy for like a thousand gold though, from like random. Or you get it in the tutorial. Android. What? I thought oh, I must have missed it back there. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back there, aren't I? I guess. You need to get that Ebony Dagger after all. That is true. I'm actually gonna go check to see if there are bandits back there. There usually are. Take care of bandits. What kind of bandits Requiem has in store for you, or is the big question? Well, it's just like mm. four mages with lightning. That actually wouldn't be that bad, because they all die in one hit. I could just hide around a corner and wait for them to come to me. <laughs> just slice them all up. I guess. But first, four units of beef stew. Our looks pretty expensive. It's like 35 to buy right now for me. This book is so heavy, and I can see why now. What the heck? I go to cook my meal, and look, Sigmund is there staring at me, just inside my door. <laughs> Sigmund, do you mind? This is my house. Or Sigurd, I guess. Is it? Oh, did you need something, he says. Yeah, I need you to get the hell out of my house. What can I do for you? Okay, well, it's a secret weapon. I talked to him, and then when he was still talking, I exited my... Oh, wow, he didn't follow me. Is he just in there forever now? Is that what's happened Maybe. here? Apparently if you're oh, really experienced God. alchemist, you can get like the straight up the point the venom from um Yeah, from spiders. spiders. Actually, um there's some unique recipes for alchemy that like you can only if when you when you read the recipe, you can uh, mix the right ingredients together and they give you something different and special. Wait, what? Like, to get, you know those uh, Vitality or Elixir of Vitality? You can make those, but you need to, um... You have to, can, like, find the recipe, read it, and then mix the right three ingredients. In an alchemy lab. Blades, oh. helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I really need to level up one more time so I can, uh... I get the magic, I need to cast my healing spell. And actually, I'm not even sure I'll do that, I might go for stamina again, but I want to get my um, ability to smith. So I can start like using these hides that I have. I know it's not like value. Yeah, basic, like, basic smithing is really good to have regardless. Because you unlock more than just like... Like you can also break stuff down and... Mm -hmm. Mod junk. Where is Naranye? I think that's who runs the stall. It's definitely not a good way to make money, though. No, but then I can just like... I don't have to worry about making the money, I'll just use the ingredients, make the stuff, and sell it for very small amounts of money, but still. That way I'll be making progress on the character. Unless you want to, uh, like, melt the stuff down, just keep melting it down again until, uh... Until you can no longer do something. Start so we get like half bullion. goes into something. Septums. I like how they actually call them septums. It's not technically gold. It's just septums. Mm -hmm. Now what they need is to introduce like alternative forms of like currency. Like different like coin. NCR bucks so, like for when I go to like, the coin. New Vegas. To the Mojave Wasteland. That's right. Then we all set. There she is. I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the uh, these days? So sad. So have you um added Morrowind to your Tale of Two Wastelands? No, no. You need I'm it. not I'm not ready for Tale of Four Wastelands. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Carrots. Why is it so hard to find barrels with carrots in them? Well, old Steve is so slow now in this super heavy armor. Uh, no, I, it's not too bad. I only have two perks in heavy armor, and like it's already not too bad. Mind yourself. 
Yes, I need a pull rush so I can just like run up. people over. You already have it. It's just you're not like invincible while doing it. Well, the perk, I mean. Doesn't the perk make you better at it? Yeah. It just makes it so you can shrug off damage while you pull rush. Oh, okay. And you can also sprint oh. heavy armor without like taking a huge stamina like, dump on your stamina. And other goods for the home. All it re if you're looking to get a drink, candle her. Oh, a bit of this and a bit just of that. Running into people in town, trying to knock them over, failing miserably because I'm not that Basically, heavy, I guess. Yeah. I mean, how many pieces of armor are you with heavy armor? All of them. Oh, well then, yeah, you're probably pretty heavy just by default. Thank you for your custom. I'm gonna kill myself by like trying to make potions out of like random animal bits. I've never had anything bad come from that, so I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing or if it's just some flavor type thing that they added in. We don't know what's inside. Because every time you make a bad potion, it just says like, "Well, I guess I could just throw this one away." That's basically all it says. I haven't. I've never been hurt by it. As long as you, as long as you don't try eating vampire dust, I think you'll be okay. and I'll fetch you some tonic. Now, if there was a tonic that could help me... Oh, Steve is so heavily dressed right now. Found it by now. Why are all the barrels marked stealing now? Let's mm, put these hearts together. Apparently, frenzy and exhaustion on these two hearts. That's actually, if the level is good, it'd be pretty good, but you're probably not a very good alchemist. No, I have no 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 perks whatsoever. I'm just uh, well. You're probably you're gonna have zero magnitude and cost zero. Oh, it's cost yeah. sixteen apparently. Uh, they're gonna have zero, zero magnitude, though. but I'm si I can still learn things and get these things out of my goddamn inventory. Spellbane, exhaustion, you, you should just and save frenzy. Your... I don't know if you want to just like save your in ingredients or not. Like somewhere, just put them in a box or something, because uh, you only need two perk points in alchemy to like be able to see all four from eating them. Like, I can already, like, reveal all four just from the two perks. Yeah, you just eat your your vampire dust there. Well, it's the one the one ingredient I won't eat. Holy crap. This thing does frenzy... Oh my god, that's so crazy. Sabercat and um, wolf hearts together are crazy. You damage magic... You drain their magicka, you drain their stamina. You damage them, and then you... Oh, that's, well, that's, this is listing, at least. And you make them f uh, frenzy. Oh my god, there's so many effects on it. What are they? What hearts? Saber cat and... And wolf. Okay. I probably have a couple of those lying around, but I don't know how much that potion's gonna be worth with magnitude. In Requiem Zero, if you eat vampire dust, you just die. <laughs> yeah. It, well, it does like... I don't have any It's not like health or okay. You can't just snort that no, shit. It's, like it's like a magnitude 10,000 health drain or something. Like, it's just you die. <laughs> According to the, like, list of ingredients and effects I was reading. Just OD. There's actually a lot of, like, unique effect magnitudes and duration. Like, the ingredients are all pretty, like, not, I wouldn't say unique, but they're much different. So yeah, old Steve's gonna try and become Captain America. Hitting people with his shield and punching them to death. At some point, he might lose the shield, so he can do choke slams and shit. Because I don't think you can do kill cams if you have a shield. I should just start eating the bread that I have on me. I don't keep food that's worse than like a hundred, because it's so easy to get food, and in most cases you can just wait an hour and then you get yeah. your stuff back. So you have like buffs that it's you don't want like to take down. and stuff. Yeah. Running, I've been running around for the past like 10 to 15 minutes looking for carrots so I can make beef stew because no one has any for sale. 
50 fortified health is pretty pretty intense. It's nuts. It's better than the potions I'm currently holding on to. And like, how long is it? How long is the buff? Like, two hours? Something like that. 7,200 2 hours. Yeah, that's yeah. two hours. In, like, in game time? Yeah, it's not even like, it's not... If you sleep, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take down while you sleep. I think I'll take the uh, the more temperate route to White Run. Potato soup's nice, with salt and potato, you can um, make a 10 healing item, it's not great, but it's something. 10 healing item? You can just do 10 health and 10 stamina. It's not terrible, considering health, like instant health is pretty hard to, uh, to come by. Yeah. In fact, I don't think there's, there's probably like a handful of items that do restore your health instantly. One of us, one being like the high, the highest grade of healing potion. Yeah. I'll go down to Rift visit Riften. Old Steve is just wondering wherever the road may take him. Sigmund just popped out of my house when I was trying to go in. Oh god, he followed me back in. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Get out of my house! <laughs> oh god, there are two mammoth on the road. Two mammoths on the road. Mammoth. There are two mammoth. No, not mammoths. Two mammoth. I think these wolves might be thinking of attacking the mammoths and the giant that they're, that's hurting them. That'd be a very poor idea. Really thought of. That'd be a great idea. So that way you can take the pelt and heart. That's good. We do not need silvered bolts to be used on these wolves. For Christ's sake. Hey, you gave it to her. I did. I will destroy you. I only give her iron bolt. So I never have to worry about that well, shit. Well, I don't have the carry weight right now to deal with these silvered bolts. Uh, whose fault is that? Old Steve's. Fellow Khajiita, to go back to. That's good. I swear to God, if you chase Just that wolf that. all the way over to the giant, I will fucking peace out. Don't worry, she'll catch up with you once she's done flying through the air. I think she killed the wolf, actually. Oh, I see what's happening here. Sigmund follows me into my house and then can't get out. Because the door locks. <laughs> so he's just trapped in there. Every time I go like back and unlock the door, he like pops out immediately. But if he ends up like talking to me because I'm close to him, he just gets stuck again because he gets up back in. Poor Sigmund. He's probably gonna get fired one of these days. 
Just trapped in my house forever with Lydia. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Let's go take care of my wolf hearts. My bear hearts. Oh crap. There's more raw beef than I Is that one raw beef per stew? Or two? Not sure. It's one, okay. It's not bad. I got four now. I've never in my like gameplay of Skyrim ever had to like store food in my house. Such a strange experience. Lydia's shitty home defense. I don't know. What? Secret being abused by Lydia in your house, and then Lydia's just poor yeah. old defense. As long as he doesn't like steal anything. So you're more to like, blame for out. like locking him in your house. Well, my door is somehow magically enchanted. It just locks on its own. Oh god, there is Possibly something going horribly wrong with the physics. Feature. It snaps back again, I might pull it to see if it will enable, but I think it's gone. Oh no, is it? Okay, nope. Okay, there <laughs> what is. is that, a fox? It's, is that a fox? It was a person. <laughs> oh, it is a person. It was a person. Now it's nothing. What is that? I don't know, I'm gonna go investigate. He, he came down and You're gonna he's, have he's to like... Done. There he goes! <laughs> no, he paused it! Oh, he's good. That wolf is after you. Where is he? There he is. It's a Khajiit. Let's find out who it is. It's like Rissad. Rissad just flew from from White Run to Markarth. That's Khajiit. why he gets. That's how he gets around. That's how he gets around so quick. He just like just goes off into the sky. It's just a generic oh my God, Khajiit. It's, it's old. It didn't Steve. even have anything on it. Okay, no, maybe it's not quite old Steve, but... But how... Where did he come from? What's his story? Think of the life he must have lived. Khajiit is innocent of breaking physics. It's not like they can punish him where he is now. Which is on this rock. Maybe that's one of the, like, side effects of Skooma. Storific <laughs> flailing to the world. If you, if you read, if you read the, the description for Skooma, overdose. it mentions, it mentions, like, some other side effect. It doesn't specifically state what, though. It says, can I'm cause still... terrible side effects, dot dot dot. What do you need to take? I can only assume that's what it is. I was going to just hold on to all my ingredients. I hope hawk feathers still cure diseases, because I'm just going to eat they... some when I get a disease. I don't know if they do when you eat them. I don't think that's a thing. They can be used in some way, but they're not. I don't know if you can just like eat them and expect it. Uh. He'd be a terrible Khajiit anyway, Zero. He doesn't share the sugar. I always ask him. He never does. Needs all the Khajiit. Needs all the Khajiit. Needs all the sugar. Needs all the sugar. Needs all, all the Khajiit. Khajiit. He, he has... you know... Not even gonna finish that. Nope, not gonna finish that thought. Khajiit or Jiru. Needs all the Khajiit. Called Steve is such an Enwa. I know, right? Oh, here comes the crossbow and all my precious bolts.
We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Okay, so since that that uh, faction is completely closed off to me, lead on. What else can I do? Gotta go become a mage, cause that'll go real well. Sure, it'll be fine. I have restoration. Restoration is the perfectly valid school of magic. <laughs> hey, watch it. Thanks, Colette. What are you, Feralda? Where is it? N Nilia or Niria? Or I think Feralda is the one that. It's one of the high uh, out. Destruction one. Yeah. She's the one that greets you at the door, and I'm what pretty is... sure she shares the opinion that it's not a very good school of magic. Oh my god. I didn't even see this. There's like a perk next to the restoration tree, like not attached to anything. It's called Painful Regrets. What? Oh, that's for um something. It's for yeah it's yeah. Shrine yeah. blessing. For... Yeah. You only take it like so many times, and only like go on, uh, reduce so much, um, you know, crime. Let's do this upgrade. We've killed a bear before. It. You take it. Yeah, once would be the thing. However, let's see what it actually does. Painful regrets. Oh, it ups and increases the crime bounties. What do you need to take? Never mind. Um, when the perk is taken, you sell for 20% less, buy for 20% more, your skills increase 15% slower, power attacks use 15% more stamina, and spells cost 15% more. Wait, what cost 15% more? Spells and power attacks, and your skills increase 15% slower, oh my. and your barter prices are 20% oh worse. Yeah, no, no, I'm never taking that. I'm just gonna avoid being a bastard, or not have blessings whatsoever. <laughs> One of the two. That seems. It doesn't matter how much how much crime you do. The blood, the shrines will always give you their blessing. So in some cases, that might it might be useful. I don't know. I don't if you know join if the thieves guild, and you want blessings, then that. yeah, there you go. Well, there's a blessing for thieves though from Nocturnal. So, like, you really don't need that, because Nocturnal doesn't give a shit about your crimes. Uh oh. Granted, he's, like, not a really a Nine Divine. He's actually a Daedric Prince, and I didn't even know there was a shrine to him until, like... I think Nocturnal prefers to, be, to use the she pronoun, or... yeah. I don't think it really matters. It's a demon. It's a Daedra. They don't have... they don't have, uh... Well... They don't have well, genders. She... decides that she wants to be a she, okay, so... The way that works. Not for Daedra, anyways. You can't, like, make them into human beings. You're anthropomorphizing. Anthropomorphizing. That word. <laughs> it's an A word. Well, when, when she appears to you, it's just she does a she. She never does. It's just a ball of energy. Man, heavy armor is so Unless good. that's the only one I've seen. Well, she totally appears to you. She does once, I'm pretty sure. Heavy armor is good, except when you're sneaking. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm never gonna be a sneaky <laughs> bastard. I'm watching you just like sneak up on this wall. Or maybe you're just approaching him, I don't know. I'm just walking I'm towards so him to conserve my stamina. I, when I see something, I go into combat mode That's and I just start walking zero. towards them. He's already he's already encountered that zero. He'd like had to cast the the fundamental fear spell, and it was like double his magicka without yeah, armor. That was on. fun. I keep taking these wolf arts. They have some pretty crazy. I, I found out everything about wolf arts by mixing it with the saber cat heart, which is a sign that they have the exact same material properties. It's good to know. Actually, I'm gonna go see what. I have like an alchemy circle as well. Let's see if I can make a uh, make one of those. See how much it's worth. Uh, it doesn't need to be worth a lot of money. That could actually be very useful in combat. I guess you kill everything in one hit, so maybe not. It depends on what I'm fighting. The only thing and, I really need to kill right now is a vampire, and it's and immune. And they're so. 
kind of immune to poisons. The only way you could hurt it with poison is if you cast a spell on it to make it weak to poison. I'm not sure if that yeah. even exists, so... Yep, it has all, they have all the same. It's only 320 gold, which is less than a giant's toe with another fortify thing. Wow. Let's only 320 gold for that potion? Only? That's, yep. Wow. I can't believe that is a thing that you say about that value, the only 320. Well, it is because you can combine... See how much one of my uh, my blue butterfly wing, blue mountain flower ones go for. Let's find this. It's pretty hardcore, the changes that they've made to the economy and everything. 180 gold. For one, like, butterfly wing and blue mountain flower, which I have like 60 of each of. So, yeah, I guess you're pretty good for that. So I can... yeah, I mean, that's... it's better. It's like two of those is already more than one of these, and getting a saber cat heart and a wolf heart. Yeah. Not the easiest of things. Right now uh, at my level with... I found hearts. a saber cat heart. I'm, <laughs> I just found one. Lying on the side of the I road. I have more saber cat hearts than I have a wolf heart. I was typically selling them, because they have quite high value for ingredients. They're pretty heavy, too. Yeah. Before I had a place to dump them. So my add two perks in alchemy, with like 25-ish alchemy, it's level 13 creatures for 20 seconds. Drains 19 points of magicka, 32 points of stamina, and causes 19 damage. It's not terrible, but... Once it's it's like... all of their bars. If it's not like... Yeah. Did I just pull eight flowers off of that one thing? Oh my yes, you god. Yes, did. That can happen. God. There's oh no perk for like, god. increased... I don't think there's any for increased, like a green thumper. I'll check. That's silly. I'm gonna come over covered by flowers. There's instead of having one that um, allows you to get more ingredients, there's one that gives you more potions. You just increase the yield of your. Uh, what? At oh, all fifty, man. it's called catalysis. You've started experimenting with a catalyst that increases the yield of the brewing process. And actually, there's two levels in that. I'm guessing one for 50, one for 100, maybe? Two and three. Maybe just a chance. Might be like Cinderian Serendipity or whatever. So, I just That's picked fine. like well, five plants and got like 48 flowers, so I'm probably going to just start working on the whole butterfly part of that equation. I make a lot of money though. Actually, it's good experience too, but you need to have. You, I would suggest you save them until you have one uh, one point at least in alchemy. Oh yeah, for sure. The value goes up by like three to four times just from that one perk. If I can afford to do so, I will do so. But I might need to just start doing that to like yeah. unload some stuff. It's nice because uh, Arcadia has a lot of gold. Like they really did increase the amount of gold she has. Shore stone. Should I go in there and kill all the spiders? That'll go real well. There's spiders in there. Oh, that. Wait, what? You're on your way to Riften? Yeah. You're gonna I... be a thief, are you? No, I just wanted to stop by Riften. Oh, I forgot about this whole, like, bandit fortress. Old Steve's just wandering. Old Steve just kind of wanders around. That's what he does. Oh boy. Because dwarven oil is used in those ridiculous alchemical powders, the value is like... It's like 200. Makes sense. Fire salts are 880 currently. What? Because those are also what? used. Yeah, those are also used. Void salts are 2,000. They're not even used in it. I wonder what those are used for. You, you do have to kill a storm astronaut to get one of those things. Now you buy them. Well, I can't. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. You just find them lying around though in a lot of places. Just sneak uh, into I don't know the how like those people got them. Just like into Castle some Volcar. astronauts and killed them. All right, let's see how many how many times we die trying to get through this fortress. Oh God. What? You're what? You're actually doing that? It's nothing. Make sure you make a hard save, so you can quick save throughout. 
when you're at like like five points in battle. That's a good idea. Oh god. I do that because like that way I have a save at the beginning of like the mess of the hole I'm digging myself. And that way I can like still save after every bandit kind of thing. I'm just gonna go through my potions. I have plenty of them. For now. Well, I use potions as well, but they're not like... They don't really save your life when you're in trouble. Well, these bandits are pretty wussy. Maybe it's my shield giving me that whole extra hundred armor that's really making this. Bandits... Bandits are the, the easiest enemy in the game, basically. Well, like, the lowest tier. Yeah. So I'm guessing... They're not supposed to be very difficult. Oh, oh I just remembered that I left like a huge cache of stuff somewhere when I was too over encumbered to carry it. And now I don't remember where. So one of the dungeons I've already cleared. I want to choke slam someone. Give me a kill cam game. Is it Bleak Falls Barrow? Where else have I been? Where did I get like 53 spider eggs? I think it was Bleak Falls Barrow. This encounter that wasn't that bad. I think we killed everyone. Might be one or two left. Bottled water. I'll take that. I'll drink some bottled water. I just pick up all that stuff and drink it immediately. When like I kill the bandits. I may have to use a shield for a while. That armor bonus looks like it's helping a lot. I want to take their stuff to sell it, but it's probably not worth it. Unless it's like something really excellent. Not when you have such low speech skill. And no perks invested in it. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna be just looting them for their like food stuffs right now. A leak? That could be used in like Nord me I beware. Experience for beware. Recharging. I find it. God help me. I'm gonna have some Nord Mead. I drank one black briar like black briar thing and it screwed me up for like 15 minutes. We're good. We're good. Did you drink it? <laughs> oh my god, why did I do this? Good luck with that. Get rid of these Oh, sick. I thought there were two bandits down here. It's just one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the, in the words of my old companion, remember to hit the middle one. This is a well-made iron crossbow, I might take that. Yeah. Are there one or two? It's just one of the crossbows. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? I'm gonna fall off the fucking ramparts. Why is my Khajiit so lightweight? Everyone is, apparently. I don't- I'm a Nord and I still had the same thing. Unfortunately, my stamina regen's faster right now while I'm just, like, boozed out of my mind. I'm not drinking beer again. Oh my god. This is so bad. It does- I think it- I don't think it has any good effect. Does it give stamina regen yeah, or something? Yeah, it gives you stamina regen and reduces your, um, magic regen. Magic regen. actually, like, destroys your magic regen entirely once the duration runs in. For, like, 15 minutes. Oh my god. Why did I do this? So have fun with that. Well, I don't have the ability to cast my spell anyway, so I'm fine. That's true. That's true. You're not really losing losing anything. Only one of them had a crossbow. I, I don't even know what to do now. I'm at a loss.
lost. Cause it's just find another random dungeon. Why is everything so bright? Around. Oh, Helgen, I'm gonna go to Helgen. What do you need to take? Lead on then. I'm just gonna load it with up with random shit that's somewhat valuable from these guys. I'm gonna go give them once more over of their camp. I'm not gonna clear out the fortress because that'd be foolish, especially in my drunken stupor. I think you'll be fine. Just swing away. What could go wrong? It's not like you're I actually murder weapon or anything. You can, like scratch yourself. Oh, that's true. I have done that before. Mostly from her own problem, my own like follies. Who runs in front of me when I'm like loaded? Have a loaded crossbow pointed in the direction of the enemy. That's good, does apparently. Throwing damn ball. With one point, with one perk in marksman, you apparently get like armor piercing property on crossbow. It's pretty oh. tempting. Like frankly, when I get the points, I'm probably gonna be putting a single perk point to everything because right? that's the only way you can actually use well, every aspect of the game. I don't think I'll be putting mo points into like illusion, and conjuration, and I don't know. I you never know. All right, let's yeah, go. Speech, go here. These like thumb speech go things are. <sighs> Some of them are tempting. I think no, you get them automatically. Those you can't use perk points on those. That's from what I understand. How do you get them? You just get them from storyline progression, main storyline. Oh. Or you you actually told me that, that like um you thought that it would just be like you get them automatically and I was you like stopped. nah what and then it? I looked it up and I told you that you were actually correct. What do you need to take? That doesn't make any sense. Me telling you that you're correct? Yeah, that doesn't make a lick of sense. That one too, but part of a I don't remember ever saying that. Was I like drunk? Maybe Awesome. There's my doppelganger. There's a lot of those running around. Let's go. Alright, I think the other girls are starting to slowly merge back together. Maybe. Oh, this is not a good this is not a good time. <laughs> Why does anyone ever get drunk? Cause like, this clearly emulates exactly what it's like in real life. After you have a single Nord Mead. There appears to be a second plane on top of the first one. Uh, you're seeing into the spiritual plane. I'm just gonna get hit by a bear as I'm running down the goddamn road. No, it'll be worse. It'll be like two bears. Yeah, <laughs> I'll never even know. Yep. One will be hiding in the shadow of the other. And you'll be like, oh, I must just be drunk. Yeah. Ten. Someone's calling for help, but I don't know where from. Oh god, there's wolves. Like, at least six of them. Oh god, Uthgard, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Six full. It's okay, you have two Uthgards. Yeah. Two Uthgards versus six wolves. It works out in the end. <laughs> oh my god! That elk looked like a wolf too. So, like, that's maybe eight. Yeah. That's true. You can just wait for two hours and then that'll go away, you know. You'll have like the stamina nope. damage, or the magic nope. damage, but you just gonna go with it. There's no waiting on this train. Yeah. I might, might sleep it off in an inn, but I'm not waiting. 
Or just like a random bed roll somewhere. Yep. There's no like a bed in that like burned out house. Like near right run. Uh, maybe. Just like go sleep in that like open open air at bed. Yep. I'll go wrong. Alright, now which one of these guards is gonna try and shake me down? There. Those two. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitors tax. It's not even a speech check, is it? It's just a. Uh... I think it is a speech is check. It's just on it, but like you it almost takes, like, speech of zero. Always right. pass. You always succeed. You never like yeah. give them money. Hear you? So I keep your voice down. Just let me unlock the gate. I do like the new guard carouses. I'm gonna give me a rifted one. I'm actually like I'm pretty impressed with the uh, the new mesh there. Good, cause like you never really, I never really noticed how like horribly plain they look. And one thing I actually oh, absolutely hate about friend. like stock guards is like their helmets made them like literally the same. Skin. They're completely interchangeable. Careful, hey, you. This now they somewhat I wanna talk to you. look different. I don't know. Guards have you they do you actually. Some have like massive bushy beards. Yeah, and some of them have like scars or like a uh, ruined eye. Just don't want to well, look yeah. like terrifying yeah, because their eyes like glow under their helmet. Where's this troll go? The Black Briars need is okay, you're just wasting your time. In their nose where it doesn't belong. Oh, I'm screwed. I have no stamina. Left. The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me, I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If oh wow! Holy anything, shit! I'm your guy. I just instantly killed it. It'll cost you. Wait, what? Just instantly killed what? I just used to kill this troll. With with like what? I used like a killing animation on it with my great sword. Then you're stupid. Wow. You look. I have like the second level and two handers, which gives me like the execute attack. And I guess trolls have such low max HP that I can just kill them straight up. I'm really getting tired. It's good to know. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it Like full HP. Upgrade, of course, wasted all of her bolts from across the river. Shooting this thing. But in the last few of years, job, I'm getting a little light. Credit to T. Blood. Perhaps they moved on to greener pastures. Your pockets. I just swim across a river in full plate mail. I can tell. Well, for once, Brynjolf isn't saying like, "Oh well, yeah, I made a lot of money, and you never made a set of it legitimately." He's actually like, "Hey, you don't have any money." What? It's all about size. Oh, I see. Mark, lad. <laughs> he actually is saying that. That's awesome. It's a dead giveaway. It's never happened before. Because you always carry around like 5,000 gold on you, like it's nothing. That's true. Actually, at that point, I had like 30,000. my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? It's gonna walk away from him now. You wanna make some coin? Come <laughs> <laughs> oh god. My beast two ran out. Oh god. So, okay, so the novice, like the first perk in restoration, it um, reduces the cost of those spells by 65%. And then spells at that level get a 1% bonus to magnitude and duration for each level of restoration. So leveling your spell school actually does increase the... Like effectiveness of your spells, but it doesn't increase the decrease the cost any, will it? It also says two percent. Lead on. Novice does one percent. You gonna that. buy something? Just what you see here. Oh my god, I leveled up! Oh, old Steve kinda wants to get some magic so he can cast a spell. He's gonna go with stamina. You're ready to spend more. Old Steve gold. needs more stamina. Knows I could use it. <laughs> 
How much stamina do I need to get before I start getting carry weight? I don't know. I've always put into strength. I get a couple pounds every time. A few pounds. Damn. Only 20 septums each. You need to sm you need to break things down a, a smelter, don't you? Yes. And I'll send leathers at a uh, at a thing at a Ten rack. Yeah. We stop. What is it? What do you need to take? What? Focused mind. Running no longer drains your magicka. Running drains your magicka. No, I think they mean um, you can make you running while, while casting, casting a spell. Yeah. Yeah. Running while concentrating causes like problems. The level fifty, the level fifty no. healing magic spell heals five thousand health over twelve seconds and cures poison. No, and then what, the edit what? says it's well, probably there's like a power of like it's basically like limited invulnerability for twelve seconds. It's five thousand health per second for twelve seconds. Hmm. But if they one hit you, it doesn't really matter. Let's get going. What do you need to take? I've got Earth Goods at her weight capacity. What do you need to take? Let's go. The fairest horses in the highest quality in Skyrim. Make love like a saber cat, or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Only a mere twenty gold coins, and all this could be yours. Why take a chance? I'm not navigating this forge. Bellman, come to see. I have Take stuff to sell you. Oh wow! Dodging in this is actually not like rolling or anything. When you um, if you need any more smithing, when you what use like the dodge mm -hmm. perk for uh, Jays, for evasions, you get a like one second of like a massive speed buff. And that's how you like move. Like if you're strafing left and right, rolling shit. Sure. If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Oh man, I really need to get my Let's go. crafting on. Protect yourself right. I'm still here. Let's go. Genuine Falmer blood elixir for sale. Live for. Thousands of years. So I need to carry this craftsman's manual on me at all times, or did I just need it to get the rank in it? I'm sorry, what? Oh no, just, uh, you'll need the book on you when you take the perk point. Like, when you put the perk in. I mean, it just won't let you otherwise, or what? Yep, that's correct. If you, like, I'm pretty sure if you drop your book, it might even have to have it on you right now, but if you, if at the start of the game it's read it out until you actually get the book. Okay. Only 20 septums each. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Make love like a saber cat, or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Okay, so none of the evasion tree actually works for heavy armor. Could be yours. Every single yeah. perk of there is uh is light armor only. And if you wear any pieces of uh, heavy armor, you just can't do it. 
it just removes, it just doesn't give a bonus actually, because the bonus is gained per armor piece. So like the bonus for, say, agility is actually only maxed out if you're wearing... Well, for every piece of heavy armor you wear, you reduce the bonus given. Uh oh. But like, so there's some perks that say like, some effect is on your um, only when you're not wearing heavy armor. Or do those uh, actually like... It's actually not like that. It's every every single perk there is um, for every piece of heavy armor you're not wearing, you get a like bonus. Also, I could wear like light armor, everything, and then heavy armor gauntlets and punch really hard. And heavy armor gauntlets, exactly. You only get three quarters of the uh, effect out of every perk, but yeah, you could. And In fact, that would get the bonuses. Let me be able to sneak too. Damage, probably. Maybe that'll be my long-term yep. goal. But for now, heavy armor is actually really, really helpful. I like how you're still drunk. Oh yeah. Uh, what could go wrong with crafting while drunk? Nothing at all. How do I make leather? Oh, I need, I need my hides, don't I? What do you need to take? Uh, yes. Old seems a bit now. drunk. He doesn't know how to craft. Okay. Oh, cr tiny heights actually reduces weight now. Wouldn't? Yes, well, leather is half weight now. Leather is half weight. Yeah. Well, that's a huge improvement. That's the good armor you've put together. Blood elixir for sale. Live for thousands of years. See into other people's thoughts. Exotic ingredients. Should I use the tempering thing to for experience, or should I just keep making things? I just make things and then. Oh, I I can't. I don't think oh, the. No, I can't. It requires leather. I'm not allowed to. Or I just don't have the skill to actually make it better, so I can't do it. That's probably more likely. There we go. We now have gotten rid of all the pelts and gotten like very minimal experience for doing so. Take a look. If you need never turn troll hide into leather, make sure you sell it. Actually, I don't. I don't even turn saber cat and bear pelts into leather. I just sell them. They're worth more. Yeah, but I'm, I'm more concerned about the experience, really, than the money. Hmm. Speech, speech experience. Right now, I have enough resources. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. There we Welcome go. To Riften. I've unloaded a lot of those goods. Look so over encumbrance. It's all lies. They're just thugs. Vermin. Creeping around the wreck. Now to go on to White Run. So the gauntlet bonus oh, be... in combat training is for heavy armor is uh, up to 18 damage. It says only 18. Yeah, 10 to 18, depending on what uh, grade of gauntlets you're wearing. 10's not bad if that's like a minimum. Then yeah, that's iron. Yeah. 10 yeah. is minimum. I'm wearing like steel plate now, so it's probably gonna be like 12, 11. Yeah, somewhere right there. That's not a that's not a terrible amount of damage, really. And you also get the bonus of, like, no extra stamina cost while, uh, power attacking. Yeah. Um, the question I have is, um, does the enchantment for fortifying unarmed still exist? Because <laughs> I hope it does. There's, oh. there's actually...